I did a video about Macau. Of all the creative ways I've seen people mess up the phrase, this has to be the most stupidest. It's MGTOW, not MAGTOW. Yeah, MAGTOW. And I basically said that a lot of black males are hiding in the MAGTOW organization. It's not an organization. Hell, you would be stretching it if you called it a movement. It's more or less a philosophy, but go on with your hatred. Using it as a cover-up. We all know how you're against covering up. I noticed your saggy, Jack the Beanstalk grape level sized um, chest right there. I mean, gosh, those are saggier than two month old cereal. In order to bash swirlers, I meant what I said. Look, I could care less if she's dating black men. To tell you the truth, she looks like one of the ugliest women I have ever seen in my life. Her face is so loaded and bloated. She looked like a McDonald's hamburglar when he's having an allergic reaction to a bee sting. I mean, just absolutely awful looking um, individual. And she can't be anywhere younger than 40. She have hit the wall and decided to rock climb it at this point. Just absolutely disgusting looking individual. Now, back to the topic at hand. Black women who are swellers love white men. I would think that they would love all non-black men, but you know what? I have never heard of a bed wench getting raped and then the master waking up to himself being castrated. So, you know what? Go on, you slim hoe for Jim Crow. You don't hear us moaning and groaning about slavery and you don't hear us blaming the white man on all our problems. Don't bite the hand that feeds you or translate it into black cunt. Don't criticize the taxpayers of Section 8. Side note, in one of Crystal Meth Swirl's videos, she actually brings up Cynthia G. And she dated white people in the past. But side note also, have she ever heard of like MTV's decoded Sananda Ramsey or whatever the hell her name is? I mean, she criticizes and brings up white men all the time, even though she's married to one, but whatever. But black beta males do. They blame the white man for why they can't succeed in life. And behind his back, behind those MacTow guys' backs, they secretly bash them. I think she's confusing MGTOW people with Hotep people. I mean, both having, like, um, black men in it. And also, maybe even Igmore, but I don't know. Women are so intelligible sometimes that they don't know to talk in detail instead of just general uh, phrasing. And by women, I mean not all, but too many. They don't like white men. So I find it weird how the white MAGTOW guys have not figured this out yet. Look, if you're a white male and you haven't figured out that Jerome, who calls you a hunky, doesn't like you, then i just like to say, instead of MGTOW, you should join WUSTOW or just CUCTOW because you can't use simple common sense. And especially being red-pilled about this by a woman. You know, their goal, those NIGTOWs, yeah, N-I-G, NIGTOWs. That stands for the black magtows. The nigg tows. I really thought that she was gonna say something clever like nigga incels going their own way or something like that. Something that shows effort. And I just like to point out that women 
uh, women cannot really be original these days. They have to have some type of spinoff to a male idea, whether it's having the YMCA, they have to have a female branch, Boy Scouts, they have to have Girl Scouts, um, uh, male Ghostbusters, they have to have a female Ghostbusters, you get it. Those Nick Tows want to pit Mag Tows against Swirlers. They want Swirlers and Mag Tow guys to not realize that they have something in common. That we are the alphas of our race. We are the providers. Sorry to inform you this, but a woman can't be an alpha. Alpha in the Omega category is strictly a male thing. And number two, how can you be the provider of a race you said you left long time ago? You said you left Blackistan. So your idea of you being the top provider is a contrast of interest at best. And are you saying that white men who date outside of their race are better than the average white person? But the black nigtows, N-I-G, the nigtows are mean and cruel. And they hate black women. And they hate white men. So what is this, where does this leave them? They should have their own organization called NIGTOW, N-I-G-T-O-W. Because the truth is this, how can you smile in the white man's face and you secretly hate him? You are using the white man as a cover-up in order to bash black women. Look, when you praise the barrel, you get at the bottom of the jug. I say if she ever marries a white guy, she's going to either divorce rape him and take all his money and the kids, say that he did something bad or molested his kids, or say that he's a racist like so many women do these days. We're on to you, Nick Taos. You don't really like your brother. All of a sudden, he's a brother? Really? I thought he was your oppressor. I can only speak for myself, but the only man that's oppressing me is Uncle Sam and his constant cucking to women's rights. That's the only person oppressing myself, to be frank with you. With mag towels? The truth is this. Swirlers love white men. So why don't you get the fuck out the way, Nick Tao, and let us see the alpha males, the, the mag Tao's, like Irish mag Tao, who was flirting with me yesterday in the comment section. Shout out to you, Irish mag Tao. <laughs> Look, Irish MGTOW, I would say you must have been drunk, but I'll be honest with you. If you can hit it, you should do it. But you must quit it because she'll go after any white man. She'll just take any of them at this point. She'll just open her trap and her snap for any um, typical white guy. So you got to watch out, man. I don't really think they like MGTOWs. They're just using them in order to take black women down. I said it, and I'm not taking it back. All of a sudden, the white man is your brother? Give me a break. What can you do for the white man? I know what Swirlers can do for him. <laughs> Take his kids, divorce, rape him, and drive him to suicide like women of all color do. But yeah, I'm going to stop it here. As you can see, this slim hoe for Jim Crow, come guzzler, she's hell bent on dating a white man, any particular white man, and somehow keep on talking about MGTOW so she can burn in hell. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share this video, and I'm out.